Hey guys, as promised last week, we're going to talk about tools today. It's pretty chilly in the workshop. We're heading towards December in England. To warm the heart, let's discuss some tools. Here's five of my favorite tools that I'm currently using in the workshop. The first tool or group of tools that I want to discuss is a hammer. Hang on, that's not a hammer. Okay, hammers. You probably will find within one or two hammers that you've got everything that you need, but my favorite one I'm picking up lately is the Fretz Goldsmiths Hammer. Beautifully balanced. It's pretty light, but it has just enough impact to do what you want it to. They get this really, really smooth, beautiful finish on the wood as well. It's one of those tools that you want to just grab. You could probably uh, get by by using a whole bunch of different variety of hammers. I actually just bought this because it says Goldsmiths Hammer. I've been enjoying it ever since. We're always looking for good material at the top that really holds an impact. And then they go on further than just making a practical item and make it beautiful as well. So that's my favorite hammer at the moment. That's the one I pick up most frequently. I could recommend this hammer directly to you. We've been friends for at least five years now. What? Five years? Yeah. Five, or no. Almost, yeah, it's a little over five years. Uh, this is the Leica, 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 I like a A60 microscope. This guy has uh, the ability to amplify everything you're seeing to the most beautiful, crisp amplification. Your field of vision is just perfect. It's just a wonderful thing. There are plenty of videos out there that will tell you about how wonderful these things are. It's absolutely essential for me when I'm doing set work and engraving, and uh, I can see our friendship carrying on for quite some time. Highly recommend the Leica A60 microscope. Without this microscope, uh, life in the workshop for me would be a completely different reality. It's that good. Thank you. <laughs> so this is Steve Lindsay's little creation. It's, it's called the Lindsay Air Graver. I've got the classic here. I think the newer ones come with engraving and all the rest of it. This is really the cream of the crop when it comes down to to engravers. If you don't know what these are, they're used for engraving. I also use this for set, set work. So when I turn to my engraver's desk, this is in my hands constantly. We do hand graving as well. I did a seal engraving yesterday where I exclusively used just push engraving. But this little guy again is, oh man, something to look forward to when you're working in a workshop. It's been going strong as well for as long as I've known that guy. I believe that currently there's a bit of a waiting list. These guys are still doing business on a small scale, which means they're making these absolutely by hand, basically. There's no spring mechanism in this. It's just air, the way he's done it, and it's just perfect. Big thumbs up from my side. The Lion Punch Forge Lion's Claw. This is a tool that rests on your block, and then you can balance. Say, for instance, if you're doing a half shank and you want to bring the shank together, and you're just pressing it down, and this part comes to the top of that and it sort of holds it. It's a stabilizing tool. This one was gifted to me for, uh, by Chris Anderson from Lion Punch Forge. There's, these are also available, I believe, on Pepe Tools uh, website. The washers over here give it a little bit more weight if you need it. It's such a brilliant little design. Christopher Anderson really pulled through with this and I'm hoping that he's having huge success with these. Next tool, hello. GRS soldering station. Ah, game changer. Like basically stop what you're doing and get yourself one of these. The idea of soldering straight in front of you and then taking it and moving it around or even just putting it on the desk itself or on your leg or even possibly on your head while somebody else does the soldering. It's limitless. You can actually take this little thing, connect it straight. You saw how easy that is, connect it straight. It's got really good quality clamps. It's got adjustable strength bars all over the place. Basically, there was life before and now life after. This is an amazing, amazing uh, tool in the sense that I can see that somebody actually that's in the trade or somebody that has a knowledge of what the real world struggles of a goldsmith is with regards to having things lying around, really thought and designed up. Thank you, Juris. I dig this one. Very cool. I like it a lot. And it's very easy to store. Win-win. All right, yeah, this is like holding something really tiny. This is the Alex tool divider. A little bit of a spoil. You know, a lot of people could argue, hey, you don't need stuff like this because it's expensive. And blah, 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 blah. But I do a lot of set work. And when you're talking about getting real accuracy on your pieces, then you can't go wrong with one of these little things. Another one of those little spoils for myself, you know, the stuff I think typically happens around Christmas time where I go, mm, what do I want for Christmas? Yeah, I'll take one of those, you know? Um, it's the Alex tool divider or compass. 
or Passer, if you're in Afrikaans. New Concepts Sawing Bench Pick, featured in some of my previous videos. This is definitely one that if I had to choose which one I'll grab if the workshop burns down, I'll grab this one. There'll be a lot of other things I'll grab as well, but this is one of the ones that I'll grab. Make sure you don't burn down with the work. <laughs> Struggle. I think it's good we're doing this video for survival purposes. Yeah. <laughs> I've removed all the stuff from the top here, which I'm sure a lot of people will come around and say, well, there's purpose for this and there's purpose for that as well. But I just like this as it is. This piece is to hook a ring over like that. And it's nice when I'm doing sizings because once the ring hangs down to the bottom, I've got a really nice balance to get straight on the opposite side to open them up to do a sizing. And uh, also when I bend rings around, so I bring them over here to sort of pierce through this little line over there, you can pierce through. And this is actually a nice little feature on the bench, but keep that out of the way and you've got a proper little cutting plate. If you've got a bench made system where you clip these onto the bench itself uh, and you're looking for a cutting plate, man, do consider this one over here. I have been working with it constantly and it's just a thing of beauty as well. I love it when things are engineered, don't you think? It's like. It's like people have really thought about it and it's also not, it's not flimsy in any way. This is really thick steel, the new concepts, you guys have done a good job. This is the Benchmate, this is, I think this is an older version than mine. Yeah, this goes with me, it's the older version. This uh, holding tool it slots into the desk like that and mainly what this kind of thing does is when you do work, when you're holding it in your hand and you're working against a bench peg, now it's inevitable that you're going to get some movement because you're not a machine. You're not a vice. If you're going to hold something, it's going to be some movement. But with this thing, it's absolutely solid. And where you would have used your one hand for resisting, you can now use it for turning and maneuvering around while you're working on it. The GRS Benchmate system, this is the kind of thing that I would imagine if you had like a Nobel Peace Prize for uh, tools, like let's call it a Nobel Tool Prize. That would be a prize award right there because there's a balance that's been found because of this tool here. So I'd like to know who designed this GRS Benchmate and I'd like to give them a thumbs up. We were asked about some of the tools. So this video was about just sharing some of the tools that I really enjoy. Uh, when I've looked for tools to buy, I've always gone to YouTube to see an impression about what uh, people have with those. And this is my true honest opinion about the tools I've been using. Thank you very much for watching the video uh, till the end. We really appreciate it. That's very kind of you. Dana, yeah, yeah. We talk about tools because we love tools. These are some of my favorite tools that I'm currently using in the workshop. If you've got a particular suggestion or a particular answer, you know where to put the, the questions and we'll read those and we'll process it towards the future videos, which there's gonna be a lot of uh, in the future because we enjoy making tool videos. In fact, we love tools very much. Goodbye.